Well, the rapid evolution and implementation of instant payment schemes in Latin America is transforming the way that consumers and businesses are interacting across the region. The impact is significant and very visible. And the Brazil PIX scheme is a very good example of that. One of the key factors for success is adoption. And in the case of uh, Brazil PIX scheme, you know, that was the main factor for its success. I mean, we have huge adoption of the instant payment implementation in, in, in that country. I mean, QR codes embedded in invoices and in peer transactions, very easy to access. So from consumers to small businesses to large corporations, what we see in Brazil is huge adoption. And the reason why we have huge adoption is because the, that instant payment scheme was implemented with a number of value-added services around the transaction that makes you know, the scheme accessible to everybody. And that, that is the key success factor in that case. Oh yes, sure, of course. First of all, there are several markets in Latin America that have implemented or are implementing instant payment schemes. So it's a region that is adopting instant payments in a very rapid pace. And a couple of markets like Argentina and Mexico are uh, following the Brazil example, the Brazil way to implement the instant payment scheme in the sense that they are adding value-added services around the transaction that creates accessibility, adoption, and inclusion. And that is QR codes, interoperability between um, uh, bank accounts and virtual wallets, you know, all the factors that make that adoption really high, which is the success that we, we saw in Brazil, you know, you can see that also in Argentina and in Mexico for sure. Adoption is key, you know, to be successful with any instant payment schemes. And in order to have that adoption, you need other elements, you know, embedded into the operation of that instant payment structure. And that is, for instance, the use of virtual wallets, right? I mean, the consumer adoption of virtual wallets is very important because that creates financial inclusion. And that allows people that are not bankerized you know, to access those instant payment schemes and to access those financial services. That is key as well. And in order to have that adoption from non-bankerized consumers, you need interoperability between those virtual wallets and bank accounts. So in every market where interoperability between bank accounts and virtual wallets has been incorporated into the instant payment scheme, you see success and you see financial inclusion when you have that interoperability.